Hey bosses, it's Nina. So a lot of times when we're on social media, we get bombarded with this word brand. Brand, branding, personal brand, influencer brand, 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 brand. But the thing is, let's step back and figure out what is a brand? What is branding? What is branding? What is branding? So the official definition of branding, let's go to dictionary.com. The action of marking with a branding iron. So we know it's not that one. Let's go to the second one. The promotion of a particular product or company by means of advertising and distinctive design. Advertising and distinctive design. Let's read that again. The promotion of a particular product or company by means of advertising and distinctive design. So. Basically, you're promoting yourself or promoting your brand, but one of the key terms is distinctive. So that means not looking like everyone else, not talking like everyone else, not trying to appeal to the masses. A lot of times when you ask people in their businesses, who's your target market or who's your client? A lot of people will say everybody or everybody who wants to buy a purse, let's say purse, right? Everyone who wants to buy a purse, um, yeah, that's fine. Everybody wants to buy purses, but there's a difference in people who purchase Louis Vuitton versus Ferragamo versus Gucci versus something at Walmart, right? There's different people that speaks to different people. Knowing exactly what your brand is and speaking to your exact ideal client or your perfect client is what I'm going to call it, means knowing exactly who you want to work with. Not this whole target market. You're a small business. You're an entrepreneur. So when you're trying to get a whole piece of the pie while everybody else is doing that, you're concentrating on a lot of things and you can't focus in on that one perfect client that you want to work with. So branding is making a distinctive product that you're appealing to a specific audience. And so that's what I want a lot of people to take away from this is when you start working on your branding for your business, Think first about who you're going to work with, right? My branding is a little bit about me, right? The authentic, we keep on hearing authentic thrown around and it's all about, you know, who I am and I want to be authentic and I want to make sure I convey certain messages and all of that is important. But really what people are thinking is who are you and what can you do for me? So if you start thinking about what's in it for your client, what do they want? What are they frustrated about? What is keeping them up all night? What are they overwhelmed with? What can't they get over? What are they blocking? What is a time suck? What are they Googling? All of those things. If you're constantly thinking about that when you're creating a brand, that means your brand is going to speak to a specific person, your perfect customer, your perfect client, your perfect customer, when I say that, I mean customers that come back over and over and over again because they know you can deliver exactly what they want, how they want it. And so one thing that I always say is your client is over here on frustrations and they want to get over here to their desires and their desires could be having more money, having more client, relieving stress, working less, uh, work-life balance, figuring out technology. That's what I do, right? How to figure out digital marketing, also what I do. How to outsource, all of those kind of things. If, you're fr if their frustrations are over here and their desires are over here, what you need to do is be in the middle. Be their answer, scream at them. Hey, look at me. I am the brand, the service, the product, the person who is here to answer your questions. I am the person sent to you to guide you on your journey to this side, right? So we're over here with frustrations. I'm gonna help you get over here to your desires. That is me, I'm your one. So when you think about branding before you jump in, make sure you're thinking about your perfect customer. And so what I've done is I've compiled a couple of things. One, an entire checklist of all of the branding items you need when you're a small business or entrepreneur. Because the first step is knowledge. You need to know what sections and parts of branding do I need to concentrate on? Because sorry to tell you, boo-boo, but it's not just the logo, right? It's not just a pretty picture. Oh, I got a photographer and we have pictures all over. They're pretty, right? It's not just that. It's your branding culture. It's how you speak. It's your visual items. It's everything put together that draws in those clients and those leads and gets you money. 
So I'll leave the link below. You can also just head over to the monthlychecklist.com and it's the ultimate branding checklist for entrepreneurs. It's absolutely free. You'll see an infographic as well as a printout that you could print out and actually check off as you're going through each of the items. After you download the monthly checklist all about branding, head over to pinkboss.club. Yes, that is pinkboss.club. That is my private Facebook group full of thousands of entrepreneurs just like yourself. But on January 16th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, I have a live course coming up. We're gonna talk all about personal branding for entrepreneurs. Actually, personal branding for creative entrepreneurs. So in the live course, we're gonna be talking about three things. You know why we're gonna be talking about these three things? Because I asked my audience who I love, my group, my peoples, my bosses, what they want to learn about um, branding. And specifically, I asked them, which area of branding is the most difficult? And the three top items are the three top items that we're gonna cover during our live course. Number one, how to convey the right brand message. Ooh, ah. Number two, how do you monetize a brand? Ah, that's a good one, huh? Get that paper. How do you monetize a brand? Number three is creating graphics for your brand. So even if you're someone who outsources, I would suggest you join because there's steps that you have to take whether you're, you're actually creating your own or you're actually outsourcing it and it just makes it a lot easier. I've been using it for years and everybody's biggest struggle seems to be graphics a lot of times. So I'll help you teach you some tricks. It's all good. All right. Head over to the monthlychecklist.com to get started and then join the pinkboss.club so you can come in and join the discussion and join the live courses. Ciao for now. right so why don't you go ahead and head over to the monthlychecklist.com the second resource i have is on my website on my blog i'll leave the link below is i have a blog on the top 50 best branding books i did a lot of research to see what people were i mean i read um all the little comments seeing what people are saying looking at what the book was about how it helped who their audience was all of that and i put together um about 35 40 of the best branding books. Now I will be adding to that. I'm reading a book um, right now called Story Brand and I'll actually put that link below as well. But I wanna know what you read. How do you increase your um, knowledge on branding? Are you reading? Are you listening to auto book, audio books, podcasts? Are you in my Pink Boss Club, right? What are you doing to really increase your knowledge? I wanna know below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with anyone that you think needs it. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Ciao.